welcome back to my channel my name is Katia Valino thank you thank you so much um, today I am just going to do talking talking and before I start talking before I get into my talks if you have not already subscribed my to my channel please uh, hit the red button and also uh, hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload a video now this video might not be for everyone but if you are looking to be successful in what you are doing out there doesn't matter what but anything you're doing one way or the other if you're looking for a way to be successful this video might be for you I will share with you people one of my tips in being successful in what I do now whenever people hear success the first thing that comes to their mind is financial well-being this is not what I'm talking about here there are too many kinds of success whatever you choose to be the definition for success for you will be the definition of success for you for me finding success is finding a peace with my inner mind with my inner soul personally and I'll try so much not to make this video long I'm going to make it snappy at least to make it under seven minutes so I'm looking at my time so the first thing you want to cut off is friends if you want to be successful in what you do because really and truly you have a dream of where you want to go or where you want to bring your business to when you go out there and tell people your dream they are not in your head they are not in your brain they don't see the same thing you see they don't perceive the same thing you perceive so the first thing that you're gonna do which is one of the things that I did is to eliminate friends eject yourself from so many public findings public uh, uh, gathering and stuff like that because they will not help you rather what those things will do to you is to bring you down think about that you have two hands and then you're carrying luggages on your two hands those luggages will only bring you down so when you stay away from friends exclude from them make sure that go incognito go and hide and think about yourself and what you want to do and I'm telling you when you really look down and think of what you want to achieve and accomplish in life it's only you and your God that can get that accomplishment your friends will never help you and when you have so much distractions from people from noise from people trying you trying to get a uh, opinion from people it's not going to help you it will bring you down you need to concentrate and know what you want to be and where you want to go and believe me and trust me once you eject yourself from all these public events like I'm a Nigerian right there's always a shabby there is always party there and then you sit down you ask yourself what are you going to accomplish in going to all those things you need to start thinking about living legacy what does legacy mean to you all these parties and these and buy this and buy that they only deplete your pocket because every week there's something to go you're out there you're shopping you're out there somebody will call you and ask you what shoe are you wearing are you wearing Gucci are you wearing Chanel are you it is not going to grow your business exclude yourself this is one of the things that I did that helped me every morning when I get up the first thing any first thing that comes in my head I just put it down and then I put it like a quote and I put on my Facebook there was something that I put that is raising alarm and in that quote I said that you don't really need friends rather you think of business associates because friends will not do anything for you the people that will help you are like-minded individuals the people that I have right now 
um, I'm not saying that I'm a loner. I have people that I talk to once in a while. But when you try to build business friends, business associates, all of you have the same goal. You know that you have something to accomplish. You work together. You cry together. You are. I am past that level where she said, I said, I did I that she's driving this car she's doing the, she lives in big house she doesn't live in big house those things does not bring any value to you what bring value to you is what you want the people that are looking at you to copy from you to emulate you want people to use you as examples to say I want to be like that person let me tell you the only people that come to my mind every time I talk is Oprah and Gail I don't know any other things they do behind the doors, but if a friend cannot be loyal to a friend, rather they put you down. Do you need those kind of friends? And then the moment you start ejecting yourself from these people, get to where you want to be, you will see them, they want to come. And this is when you're going to sit back and ask yourself, does this person fit in in my project? What am I going to learn from this person? What am I not going to learn from this person? So the key thing to this message is to concentrate, stay away from people, from friends. They will not build you. They will deplete you. They will bring you down. So focus, build your business. Your business associates are the people who will eventually be your friends because they don't know you from Adam. You guys have the same motive. You have the same goal. You have something to accomplish. But those people that you think that are your friends, they are not coming for your well-being. They are coming to look and see what you are doing wrong. Even if you're not doing it wrong, they must, they must find a way to twist that around. So I found my inner being. I withdraw from the public for almost two years now. My own team focusing reading the stories of the successful people, seeing what I can do to better myself. And what people don't know is that anything you are doing out there, your children are watching. If you're in your 20s, you can say, okay, I have enough time to fool around to do this and do that. But you know what? What legacy are you going to leave? What do you want people to know you for? it's time for a change if a friend is not bringing anything positive to the table they are not your friends like i said i have people that i went to school with like 20 years ago 30 years ago when i am nobody and they are nobody those are the people you look back and you reflect on the memories of growing up and you call them your friends and they will answer but just uh a word <laughs> is enough for the wise. I just want to address this issue. People call me on the phone. People send me inbox on social media. We don't see you anymore. We don't do this. We don't do this. No, because that setting is not for me. I am gone. I am gone way beyond that. Uh, there is nothing beneficial out there. The beneficial thing out there is building yourself and trying to leave a legacy for yourself and for your children and for your community so i hope that this mean well to you guys don't forget to subscribe to this video hey guys if you live in houston texas or if you know any fashion blogger or youtuber that lives in houston texas please drop me a message in the message box i am looking for a blogger or an influencer a youtuber in houston texas don't forget to follow me, guys, on my all my social medias. You cannot miss me. Just put Katia Valino. And I'll also leave a link at the bottom of this video. And uh, ciao. I don't want this video to be up to 10 minutes. Thank you, guys. I really love you guys. I value you guys. Bye-bye. See you guys in my next video.